Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be your general energy reading for your Friday, so your weekend edition. Yes, your weekend edition of Morning Coffee. Friday, May 22nd through Sunday, May 24th, 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a reading dated for your weekend of the 22nd through the 24th, that doesn't mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that is the message for you in that moment. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading, yes? So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't as everything is not going to resonate with everyone. So, quick little disclaimer. I don't know if you can hear it. I'll pause for a second so maybe you can. Actually, no, I doubt you can hear it. Okay, that's a good thing. But So, construction is fully underway across the street as normal. Um, and actually, they're making some good progress with it. It's, it's coming along really well, but they're delivering more materials to the building across the street. So, it gets really loud and noisy during that moment because they have this big crane that lifts the, the like the drywall and the studs and all that stuff up to the <clears throat> different levels of the building. So you might be hearing that. I hope not. It doesn't look like it's being picked up too much by the mic. It is slightly distracting for me, but I'm going to do my best to try and get this out because I really wanted to get us a, a reading for the weekend. Yeah, just something for the something for your weekend yeah so let's let's just get into it and see what we've got for the weekend here hi spirit please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our weekend of friday may 22nd through Sunday, May 24th, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, I'm going to give this five shuffles for the weekend here. One. Two for our weekend. Whoops, for our weekend here. Friday, May 22nd through Sunday, May 24th, 2020. This is three. Four. All right, and one last shuffle. Numero cinco. Oh, 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 oh. Otra vez, otra vez. Ah, okay. All right, here we go, kids. Friday, May 22nd through Sunday, May 24th, 2020. Page of Cups. Okay. All right. Reminiscing. I'm hearing reminiscing. Are we reminiscing about something? The moon. There might be a little bit of reminiscent energy coming up here. Um, wow. It's really, sometimes it's really crazy how much this mirrors my own energy. Are we going to stop here? Yeah. No, I want to pull a little bit more. Okay. Well, the spirit says we'll start here and then maybe we'll pull some more. But um, it's just, sometimes it's really crazy how much this mirrors my own energy. <laughs> my own energies and I understand why this happens I say this all the time but I understand why this happens because that helps you know me going through things and then coming here and talking to you guys about it helps well it helps me for sure but it also helps you guys because I have a little bit of a perspective from of my own so that way I can you know help you guys even more um and actually this kind of feels like but lately it's been it's been so like dead on like it hasn't a, Sorry, up until this moment, this point in we're doing morning coffee and I've been doing morning coffee, which is the daily reading. I've been doing morning coffee every day for over a year now. Um, but lately it's become so synchronized with my own life that like I was literally in this <laughs> mindset. I was in this thought process this morning and was like, hmm, okay, well, I wonder what's going to come through in morning coffee today. Hopefully we're not talking about this exact thing. And of course we are. 
what is this thing? Okay, well, Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is the dreamer energy. Um, it's also, uh, you know, it could be, represent a new relationship and emo or emotional experience. This says invitations to social events, uncompassionate friend you can share your concerns with. Um, but when the Page of Cups came out, I heard reminiscing. So you might be reminiscing on some times from the past like for me this energy came through in terms of like thinking back on the past and how things were in the past and how they are now and yes i have a whole new journey that i'm about to embark on a whole new adventure that i'm about to embark on very very soon but there are some elements about my life from the past that i wish i still had with me now like in hindsight i wish i still had that in hindsight i wish things were different but for me, 555 five, five on the counter, for me, what was coming through, this was coming through as a moment for me to really be strong, strength, and recognize the illusion around me with the moon. Because ultimately, where I am right now is exactly where I need to be for my life journey. And so, so you might be very much in this energy of very focused on what your dreams are and what it is you want to be experiencing moving forward. There's probably a good amount of reminiscent energy. The, the, the reminiscent energy is more of the Six of Cups type thing, but that's what I heard when I saw the Page of Cups. So, okay, I'm going to go with that. And it kind of makes sense. So, okay. Um, and you might be, and I feel like there is some cleaning, some cleansing, and some healing, a little bit of purging that's happening in some finer tuned aspects to help you clear out the space so that you can manifest what it is that you want. Because then you have, you have the King of Pentacles here, which to me is saying that you are very rooted, you are very... You're a very well manifested being, even if you don't see it right now, even if you don't understand it right now, even if there could be all kinds of external... Um, reflections only helping you to make you feel less stable than you actually are don't worry about it because it is in fact an illusion with the moon here okay you are way more grounded way more stable way more well manifested than you may even recognize or realize and a lot of what might be challenging this for you a lot of the energy that is causing you to be strong is external influences or external situations or other people that aren't necessarily in alignment with you and aren't necessarily on your vibe on your wavelength and i'm not and i and, and i i don't mean to say that any one person is better than the other some people have a higher frequency than others some people are more evolved souls than others for me the message in this when i was thinking about this before i even started this reading the message here for me that can be reiterated by the king of pentacles and strength is that uh, i'm a little more of an advanced soul you know i've been through a lot in my existence and i've been through a lot in this lifetime um and it's all meant to help me grow it's all helped <clears throat> it, I, i'm going through it for a reason because i can handle it and it's the same for you guys you're don't allow any sort of external reflection make you think that you are any less than what true what or who you truly are okay because it's illusionary it's illusionary so ultimately what i kind of want to say to you is keep your mind set on your goals your dreams your desires okay focus only on this because around you there could be a good amount of illusion right now fear apprehension whatever but don't but maintain your strength maintain your fortitude maintain your ground and really only focus on that which you truly desire to manifest your dreams okay because ultimately you do have justice at the bottom of the deck justice is being served in your life all right and for me this morning it was a moment where it was like wow okay i i even slipped back into the energies of oh my god i'm such a bad person and it's like no eric you're not a bad person there are things that are on hold. There are things that are not manifesting right now because you are in the process of going through a transition. So you can't you can't really look at your life right now, Eric, and compare it to others. First of all, you shouldn't be doing that anyway. That's a recipe for disaster. But also think about it logically. Like let's let's be really grounded for a second. Look at your life and look at the transition that you are in the process of making right now. There are things in your life that 
need to be put on hold so that you can go through this transition. So just because something that you dream of, the dreamer, just because of, there's something that you dream of isn't quite showing up in your, in your physical experience right now, that doesn't mean it's not coming. It really just means that this is not the right time for it right now. 1010, Molly, I don't know if you're watching today, but you've been posting 1010, pictures of 1010, because you've been seeing it everywhere. Well, yesterday I saw it twice, and I just now saw it on the counter. So this is confirmation for us malls that we're cha things are changing. <laughs> but this is confirmation for everybody. Things are changing. Justice is being served here, okay? I wanna, you know what, you're right. You're right. I'm going to leave it there because I want to I want to start clarifying. I want to talk about this moon energy and I was going to pull more, but spirit is saying get it from the clarifying deck. So that's what we're going to do. But also my hands are a little dry, so I'm going to put some hand lotion on. <laughs> Bear with me. OK, but but like, do you guys get it? Justice is being served in our lives. And just because you can't necessarily see the physical representation or the physical evidence of that coming through. That doesn't mean it's not coming. And quite frankly, there is an energy coming through with this King of Pentacles of surety, being sure of yourself. I don't know how and I don't know why, but what Spirit is seeing through this card energetically is that some of you, if not damn near all of you, should be able to know that your manifest manifestations are coming just because of how solid you are in yourself right now. Like, Take a second and take some stock. Let's let's have a little bit of a Seven of Pentacles moment, okay? Um, that being looking back, uh, looking at the fruits of your labor right now, looking at where you are, what where you stand in your physical shoes right now, and what you have around you, the things that you've manifested and the things that you've been through. Don't forget, just because the Seven, I, I know, okay, guys, I know the Seven of Pentacles is not here, but this is an analogy, okay? We're having a Seven of Pentacles moment, and there's something that I want you to recognize. Just because the Pentacles card is a physical, like is, is physicality, it represents physical experiences it represents money finances and all that stuff those pentacles can actually represent life experiences or they can actually represent certain situ situations that you've been in that have helped you to acquire something and that acquire acquiring experience and, and learning things and or at least there's the potential for it right so you're in this seven of pentacles moment take stock of everything that you've been through all of the things that you've learned all of the things that you've experienced all the ways that you've grown like really take a moment to look back on how strong you are now how much how much more well when how much more well manifested you are in this moment compared to a year ago two years ago three years ago, six months ago, last month, last week even, right? And if you look at all of that and look at all of the things that you've been through, all of the things that you've accomplished and how far you've come at this point, there should be no doubt in your mind that what you want is come. You've made it this far. You've manifested this much, right? You've made this much happen for yourself, right? So why can't you make any, anything else happen? For you why should you be stopped at all why should you be limited at all here's the good see now now with the king of pentacles here this does technically represent taurus energy right which is a fixed sign if there is any moment in your existence that the stubbornness of a fixed sign would work in your favor now is it because all you have to do with this king of pentacles all you have to do is continue going down the course that you've already been on some of you for a little bit of time, some of you for an extended amount of time. Now, my attention has just, has just been brought to this dog that's on the card here. Loyalty. Remain loyal to yourself. Remain loyal to your path. Remain loyal to your truth. Because that's what you're here to bring. Your truth. Your mastery. Your manifestations. Remain loyal to your dreams, to your goals, to your aspirations, to what to aspirations, to what your heart is calling you towards. Not what your mind is calling you towards, what your heart is leading you towards. Okay? This is definitely a moment where your heart needs to be in the lead. In control, you could even say. That doesn't mean that you completely leave the logic of your mind behind, but your mind 
The monkey mind is not driving the ship here. Your heart is driving the ship. Okay. All right, cool. Let's get some clarification in. Let's talk about this moon energy for us. Powerful, intuitive epiphanies, letting go of worry and fear, understanding the truth of the situation. And quite frankly, there are a lot of people that would rather throw more and more of the illusion in your face. Why? Because then it validates them. It keeps them in their comfort zone. It keeps them in a place of complacency even. But if you know the truth or if you have a different perspective here, why should you be told that you're wrong? Right? The moon. What's the moon energy here, please, spirit? What is the moon energy for us? What is this moon? Nine of swords. Yep, fear, anxiety. Yeah, okay, for sure. So we got that, okay. Queen of Wands, though, with the hanged man. Ooh. Mm. So this could be the very, very well why there might be some individuals or maybe just some things are coming up to scare you, put you down is what I'm hearing. Um, Queen of Wands, the Hanged Man, the Nine of Swords, the Nine of Wands, and the Five of Cups with the Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. It's almost as if this, you could, you might be able to call this a little bit of a testing period, a little bit of a challenge phase. For some of you, I feel like there are actually some individuals around you um, that are trying to keep up with the status quo, that are trying to keep you stuck in a certain mindset, but the thing about it is you've come too far, you've changed too much, you've grown too powerful is what I'm hearing, but also your perspective has changed so much that they may be throwing this at you, fear, anxiety, woe is me, pain, mourning, drama, but ultimately you're here, nine of wands. You're like, look, no, I'm, I, I've gotta keep going. I've gotta persevere. I've come too far. I've come too far on this journey right now. Actually, that would just be the Queen of Wands, but also I would, I've come too, way too far on this journey right now. I've seen too much. My perspective has changed too much for me to ever go back. It is definitely the type of energy where it's like once you wake up, you can't go back. But at the same time, there's also a refusal to go backwards. Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You've already started this new journey this new adventure this you've already come to this new level so it's like you why go back now like literally at this point at this point why turn around and go backwards now doesn't make any sense right okay so then with that said let's talk about strength here why is strength here spirit three of cups Okay, so I do feel like you are going to find individuals that, um, yeah, you are going to find like-minded individuals. Your heart is, in fact, in, oh my god, look at this. Your heart is definitely in the, wow, your heart is definitely in the right place. I mean, you have the Ten of Cups here, but that, it's the, the Ten of Cups wasn't even going, wasn't even telling me that. It's the paid, it's the, excuse me, the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups fell out on the page of cups here and that's telling me that whatever dreams goals aspirations or whatever whatever you have in mind whatever your end game is whatever you're working on manifesting your heart is in fact in the right place there is a level of maturity that has been gained here okay it's not the king or the queen of cups but we've progress we've progressed from the page to the knight now okay so what that's saying to me is that there's a sense of duty here there's a sense of honor there's a sense of responsibility there's a sense of taking responsibility and saying well if these dreams are ever going to come to fruition then i'm going to have to take action i'm going to have to man up i'm going to have to woman up and i'm going to have to honor myself i'm going to have to honor my intuition i'm going to have to honor my art my my heart yeah you're going to have to honor your art um, you're going to have to honor your heart as well and start taking steps and moving in the direction that my heart is calling me towards. Because what your heart is calling you towards is manifesting your Ten of Cups, your ultimate sense of wish fulfillment. And quite frankly, guys, nobody, no physical being in this 
in this world, on this planet, in all of existence, can tell you what your happiness is supposed to be or what your happiness, joy, contentment, and your ultimate emotional fulfillment is supposed to look like. No one can tell you what that's supposed to look like. People have their own opinions. But you know, like I love to say, opinion, opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one. Okay? Now here's the thing. Okay, I get it. So you have the Three of Cups with the Two of Swords, the King of Swords, but also the world. However, the world is in reverse. And the world being in reverse is exactly the reason why you're needing to be strong right now. Because there is a cycle that is, in fact, actively closing out, but it's not quite done yet. Okay, the world is in reverse here. You have the Three of Cups with the Two of Swords and the King of Swords. And it's interesting because when the Three of Cups came out at first, one of the first things I felt was you are going to find like-minded individuals. You are going to find people that do resonate with you, that honor your, your intuition, that vibe with you, that maybe don't see everything the way you do, but at least you guys can, can, can meet on a loving playing field to some extent but you are it's almost as if you're refusing to see it or you're so blindfolded that you can't see it right now but quite frankly with the king of swords here that's saying look see things as it clearly is if there is something within your heart if there is a desire within your heart if there's something that you resonate with and there's got to be other people that resonate with you as well you're not that alone <laughs> you know what i mean um, but also what this is saying here is um, ooh, okay, there's another, there's another, wow, 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 okay, there is another way to look at this. Um, some of us are needing to really put the blinders on when it comes to certain, indivi certain individuals, um, uh, friend groups in your life, like maybe if you're in a tr making a transition and there are some individuals that you're leaving behind, but you still have a, a good relationship with them, I feel like there could be some of them that might be trying to rope you back in. But also this Three of Cups energy could be that hive mind mentality that you are actively trying to break away from. Don't drink the Kool-Aid is kind of the energy that I'm getting from the Three of Cups, Two of Swords, and the King of Swords. It's like, no, 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 no. You keep those blinders on with the Two of Swords. You are in this point of view. You have this frame of mind for a reason. Keep it. Keep it that way. King of Swords. Don't let the illusion bother you. Don't let, don't let uh, conformity get in the way of what it is you're truly working on manifesting here. It's not quite over yet but it will be soon actually and then you have look and then you also on the bottom of the deck you also have the ten of pentacles all right there is a completion of a lesson that you were learning and that and and that's moving you okay so the ten of pentacles yeah the ten of pentacles is is representing two energies for you the first is a completion of a life lesson and circumstance. Again, you're in the process of getting yourself out of there. The world is in reverse here. It doesn't mean it's not happening. It doesn't even necessarily mean that it's blocked. Although maybe I guess from certain points of view, you could say it that way. But right now I'm seeing it as it's in the process of coming to completion. Okay, so that Ten of Pentacles, one is that process of completion that's happening right now, the, the life experience, the life circumstance, and the life lesson that you needed to learn. You're completing, wrapping that up, finishing the semester, maybe even about to get to graduation soon, right? Maybe we're, we're, we're just waiting for graduation to happen. We've completed all, we've completed the semester, got all our grades, and just waiting for the ceremony, you know, that kind of energy. Also, the Ten of Pentacles does represent the completion of that which you really truly wish to manifest. So the Ten of Pentacles here is also representing not only the completion of the lesson, but it is the ultimate material fulfillment that you're looking for, whether that be a career, a physical life circumstance, a family, a home, a place to live, a, a specific area to live, excuse me, whatever that represents for you. That is, in fact, combined with this Ten of Cups. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. This is like one of the best combinations in the deck as far as I'm concerned. But what I want to talk about here is the world in reverse. I want to get a little bit of the reality of this world in reverse here for you. And then I want to get some closing tarot guidance from the Golden Universal. So, Spirit, why is the world in reverse here? What can you tell us about this for us, please? What is the energy of this world being in reverse? Ace of Cups, 
huh? Ace of Cups. Oh, well, would you look at that? The Ten of Wands has come out, and it has come out in reverse, and it has fallen on the pile that is clarifying the moon. Isn't that fantastic? We have the Ace of Cups, we have the Wheel of Fortune, and we have the Fool. Yes, so the world is in reverse here. What, see, look, this is a, the completion is happening. You went from the world in the reverse to the Wheel of Fortune upright and the Ace of Cups. So what this is saying to me here is the universe is shuffling things around for you right now. The universe is lining up the next stage of your journey, the next path, the next process, whatever this is for you. And right now, what you need to focus on is loving yourself maintaining your full cup because that is what's going to really a, a help bring about the best circumstances in terms of what the universe is lining up for you here you are in the process of releasing the burdens from the past here with the moon okay well with the ten of wands in reverse look at the look at the, you guys there's so much completion here so much completion. You had the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck before. You have the world here. You have the Ten of Cups. You have the Ten of Wands. And you have the Tenth card in the Major Arcana, which is the Wheel of Fortune. Ten, 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 ten. Four tens already, okay? So tens everywhere. Completion everywhere, okay? But, but you are in the process of releasing the burdens that have been holding you back in the past. And this absolutely does mean energetically. This doesn't just mean physical circumstances, physical responsibilities, relationships, job circumstances, whatever. This also can represent energetic bonds. Okay. Love it. All right. So let's close this out then. Let's get some closing tarot guidance from spirit in terms of this situation. And then we'll get our Oracle Guidance from the Gaia Oracle, yeah? One last shuffle. All right. So how do you, what, what guidance do you have for us, Spirit, moving forward in this? What guidance do you have for us moving forward? Temperance, okay, be patient. Just be patient. Woo! There's the Wheel of Fortune again with the High Priestess. Yep. And Strength. Yep. So, okay. Oh my god. Look, you guys, that's all Major Arcana with the Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck. All right. So Spirit's Guidance, Spirit's Closing Guidance for us is all Major Arcana. We have Temperance, the High Priestess, the Wheel of Fortune, yet again, and Strength, yet again. Okay? So look, you gotta be patient. You have to be patient with yourself and the universe because there is a process that's underway right now there is an alchemical process that's happening right now whether that be physically or energetically whatever it's all going to be specific to your your journey right the journey that you're on but you got to be patient you don't know you have no idea you really have no idea how things are being lined up for you right now you really have no idea between the high priestess and the wheel of fortune so you just gotta stay strong be strong Maintain the, the, the maintain the balance of the mind over the heart. Keep that ego in check. Okay, there's a probably there, there are probably a lot of illusions, but I don't really see this Seven of Cups energy as an illusion. What Spirit I feel is saying with the Seven of Cups is the the, the possibilities are endless. The possibilities are infinite. So all you really need to do is to keep up the good work that you're doing, and keep working on maintaining your full cup strength and the ace of cups flanked by the wheel of fortune okay let the universe do this for you let the universe work on your behalf let the universe align what's right for you or what's necessary even is what they just said like don't worry about it you are in good hands keep taking care of yourself and thus that'll allow us to continue taking care of you as best we can right because the more that you keep your alignment in check, the easier it is for the universe to work with you. Because it's all about energetic alignment. Yes, ma'am. This is good. This is very good, you guys. And it's very reassuring. So, okay. Cool. So let's close this out with our Oracle Guidance for the weekend.
بس شفا اوکی دوکی closing message please oracle oh there it is oracle guidance for our weekend here card number seven goddess of creation transformation creativity and wholeness beautiful right on point okay card number seven here <clears throat> it is time for you to chill out and let go of rigid and fixed ideas relax and take time out to just be you are you have been you really have been trying too hard lately and are taking things far too seriously this has blocked your creativity and caused your energy levels to be low you probably tell yourself that you don't have time to react to relax but you must make it you must make the time make this a priority and you will find that an interesting transformation takes place your creativity creativity will increase and you will feel revitalized by a newfound sense of purpose and inspiration your mind may be telling you that relaxation is a futile waste of time, yet the opposite is true. Relaxation will slow down your thoughts and open your heart. It is fuel for your soul that will have a positive flow on effect for you, a flow on effect for your entire being. That's not a phrase I've heard before, flow dash on, meaning like in with the flow, I guess. I'll read that sentence again. It is, a, it is fuel for the soul that will have a positive flow on effect for your entire being. Your well-being is of paramount importance, so do not take it for granted. Without it, nothing else really matters. Mm -hmm. Your affirmation today. I take time each day to relax. I make time each day to nurture my spirit. I connect spiritually to a space of love inside my heart. I find peace within i am light i am love one more time Otra vez. i take time each day to relax i make time each day to nurture my spirit i connect spiritually to a space of love inside my heart i find peace within i am light i am love Yay! So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee on Monday morning. Y'all, take care. Bye!